and action. Hi, my name is Philip Summers, and today I'm going to be talking to you about movie theaters in America. Movie theaters are one of the most important and influential places of entertainment in American history and in American culture. Did you know that before the popularization of at-home television sets, people and families would go to the movie theater over three times a week, whether it was to see movies, get their news, or just hang out, hang out with friends? And the decades since then, people have been going to the movie theater, drive-in, any sort of form of theater as dates, to hang out with friends, as a family event, and it's always been a large bonding and truly an American experience. Unfortunately, for a lot of different reasons today, movie theaters are dying, and we as a society are the only ones that can save them. The fall of movie theaters truly began with the release of home TV in 1950. Even though movie theaters have still been wildly successful since then, the amount of times a week that people were going to the theater decreased from over three to less than one because people were able to watch the news and movies at home. And ever since then, home entertainment systems have just become more and more popular, taking over and taking business from the movie theaters. Unfortunately, a lot of our younger generation today doesn't even have any interest in going to the movies. All they really care about is sitting and looking at their phones and watching social media, and that instead of going and seeing a movie, they'd rather just sit there and watch their phones. One of the other biggest culprits of movie theaters decreasing in America today are streaming services. Streaming services have made home entertainment so much more accessible to the point to where people don't even want to go to the movies. They'd rather just wait for it to come out on Netflix or on Hulu, or just sit at home and watch their favorite shows on Netflix and Hulu, instead of going out and going to the theater. And the fall of movie theaters had started long before 2020, but as you all know, 2020 brought about probably the hardest challenge to movie theaters and any businesses at all whatsoever the pandemic with COVID-19. There have been many restrictions and lots of closings when it comes to movie theaters. So the businesses have gone, the business has just gone down entirely with the movie theaters having to use different restrictions and less and less and less people going. Some of the biggest challenges to saving movie theaters, uh, probably the good one to start off with would be the prices. People, a lot of people complain about the prices of movie theaters, you know, whether it's the tickets or the snacks, and there's a few basic concepts that you really have to understand. Movie theaters charge so much just so they can stay open. They require so much money to run the screens and to pay the studios for their projects that they need the money to be able to even stay open. If more people actually went to the theater, movie ticket prices would actually go down, but the average person doesn't realize that. And when it comes to the concessions, the concessions are so expensive because movie theaters pay for the highest end brands, all the name brands, whether it's Icy or Skittles or Coca-Cola, to make sure that you as viewers get the most delicious snacks while you're watching. So you're partially paying for that premium and you're helping pay the wages of the people that have to go clean up the theater after you whenever you leave all the snacks on the ground. But that's just between me and you. And the reason why the prices of the tickets get so high is movie theaters only get around 50% of the sales from tickets. That's maybe making 4 or $5 per person. How else are you supposed to stay open when the rest of that money is going towards the studio? One of the other biggest challenges to the survival of movie theaters is DVD and digital. For decades now, people have rather waited for the movies to come out at home, whether it be VHS, DVD, digital, whatever. And although I can understand the appeal, to truly, really experience the movie, you have to see it in the theater. It's not the same sitting at home watching it on DVD. Plus, who can keep up with all the different changes in technology all the time. Uh, new Blu-ray Blu player this, DVDs no longer work, oh, but your favorite movie was on VHS, who still has a VHS player anymore? 
and digital, what happens if you lose that saved drive? All those movies that you bought are gone. If nothing else, go to the movie first, decide if you like it or not, enjoy it in the theater, and then come home and decide whether you want to purchase or rent it with a DVD. Really, the largest competitor right now in this day and age are the streaming services that I mentioned earlier. You've got Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, HBO Max, Apple TV. All of these are coming around, and that's all people want to do anymore. Netflix has over 160 million subscribers. Do you know how many people? All of those people would be going to the theater if Netflix wasn't around. But... You know, everyone just wants to binge The Office over and over or watch whatever the same five movies are on Netflix, which I understand. It, you have the night out, too. But sometimes you need to go to the theater and enjoy the movies for what they are and not just be comfortable all the time. Plus, what kind of gets swept under the rug all the time is that streaming services are not very nice to their to the people that they buy the movies from. Sometimes paying them very little, not paying them at all, not giving them the recognition that they deserve to get their product on there, that's how they keep the subscription prices so low. And again, as I mentioned earlier, we find ourselves in the middle of a global pandemic. And I understand how that can be challenging to go to the movies and how that can be a huge challenge for movie theaters to stay open. But movie theaters are doing their best, requiring people to wear masks putting dividers up between the seats, having limited seating capacity as low as 25% for large name movies to try and keep afloat. You know, having to wear a mask except for when you drink, whenever you're drinking your beverage or eating popcorn. And not to mention, if you're, if you're a person that's at high risk, you can always go during the day during matinees or less busy times to really avoid the crowds. But honestly, you could go at any time, and I speak from personal experience, you're never going to see more than about four or five people in the same theater at the same time. And please, this is me asking you, help me as a society save theaters. It is a fantastic night out, whether you're taking your significant other, your friends, you're taking your family. There's nothing like going to the theater and sitting down and enjoying a truly good movie with the snacks. And whenever you go to the theater, you are supporting the creators, the directors, the actors, the cameramen, all the people that work tirelessly to make sure that your movie comes out the way it wants. Their film and their work is truly being showcased in the theater, and that's really where they make the most money. DVDs and Netflix, they're barely earning anything from. They earn the majority of their profits from ticket sales and what you go to see in the movie. And finally... Movie theaters and film are a huge, huge, iconic piece of American culture that needs to be preserved. Like so much of classic American culture is being just thrown away and left behind with the times, movie theaters should not be one of those. They are a staple of an American pastime. Me, as a movie director, my dream is to one day get one of my films into a theater. Help me keep movie theaters alive long enough to see that happen by going to the movie when you can. Wear a mask. Do whatever you have to do. But just go see a movie. Take a friend. Take your boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever. Just take them to go see a movie. Show them the true movie experience. Like, the, there's nothing like the magic of sitting in the theater with your popcorn and your Icy or your Coke or whatever snacks that you might have. The movie theater industry has lost $9 billion this year because of loss of ticket sales. And they are going to go under unless me, you, and everyone, every once in a while, go to see a movie in the theaters like the old times. But thank you very much for your time and have a great day.